Hello everybody, welcome to our channel Radiology Interesting Update. Today our video about ultrasound anomalies of fetal limbs. The first abnormality in our lecture is limb deficiency or amputation. Amputation of the upper extremity is usually an isolated anomaly, whereas amputation of the leg or bilateral amputations of all limbs are usually part of a genetic syndrome. Isolated amputation of an extremity can be due to amniotic band syndrome, exposure to a teratogen or a vascular accident. If the defect is unilateral, it may correspond to the femur fibula ulna or femur tibia radius complex. The former is non familial, while the second has a strong genetic component. The second abnormality. Amniotic band syndrome. Ultrasound diagnosis. Spectrum of features involving extremities, craniofacial region and trunk, which may be isolated or appear in combination. Demonstration of bands are not necessary for the diagnosis of amniotic band syndrome. Extremities, absent digits or portions of limbs, swollen distal arm or leg resulting from constrictive amniotic bands. Craniofacial region, facial cleft. Asymmetric microphthalmia, severe nasal deformity, encephalocele. Trunk, severe spinal deformities, large abdominal wall defects with herniated intestine. The most extreme manifestation is body stock anomaly. The next abnormality is arthrogryposis. Ultrasound diagnosis. Malposition of the limbs and limited fetal movements, resulting from contractures in greater than or equal to two joints. Onset of arthrogryposis varies, from 12 to 30 weeks gestation. The condition is commonly associated with polyhydromnios, greater than 25 weeks gestation, narrow chest, micronathia and nucleodema, or increased nuchal translucency at 11 to 13 weeks. Fixed abnormal contractures of muscles can be regional, only the lower or upper limbs are affected. If the lower region is affected, the legs are hyperextended and crossed. If the upper region is affected, the arms are flexed lying on each side of the thorax. Generalized, all muscles are affected as in fetal akinesia deformation sequence. The next abnormality is clinodactyly. Ultrasound diagnosis. Medial deviation or radial curving of the finger at the distal interphalangeal joint usually affecting the fifth finger. The next abnormality is club foot. Ultrasound diagnosis. Demonstration that the sole of the foot is not perpendicular to the lower leg bones. The next is club hands. Ultrasound diagnosis. Club hand deformities are subdivided into radial and ulnar, radial club hand, radial aplasia, acute radial deviation of the hand and absent or hypoplastic thumb. Ulnar club hand ranges from mild deviation of the hand on the ulnar side of the forearm to complete absence of the ulna.
The next is ectrodactyly. Ultrasound diagnosis. Spectrum of hand and foot defects with missing digits. Median cleft and fusion of the remaining digits resulting in claw-like extremities. The next is polydactyly. Ultrasound diagnosis. More than five digits with or without bony phalanx in the hand or foot. There are two types of polydactyly. Postaxial, more common. Sixth digit is on the ulnar or fibular side, after the fifth digit. Preaxial, rare, sixth digit is on the radial or tibial side, before the thumb or toe. The next is syndactyly. Ultrasound diagnosis, two or more digits, bone or soft tissue are fused together.